Here's another look at the leaderboard after the second round of the Travelers Championship. The projected cut after the second round is minus two. Zach Suker has the lead at 11 under par. Shez Reevy, Keegan Bradley at nine under par. Bronson Burgoon and Ryan Moore both currently at eight under par. Afterwards, Shez Reevy, who's nine under par, talked about playing in the rainy conditions. You know, just the rhythm, you know, you're taking your umbrella out, you're getting under the umbrella, you're trying to work with your caddy, trying to clean your balls in the fairway. I mean, it's just, it throws your rhythm off, but you just have to take that extra second and stay patient and go. And welcome back everyone to Inside the Travelers Championship, only here on Channel 3. I'm Aaron Connolly. And I'm Joe Zone. Best round of the day, Jason Day. He shot seven under and he is right up there on the board, ready to go. And it these are the names we mentioned. Jason Day, Jordan Spieth, Phil Mickelson. All these big shots out there, all these big names. Well, guess what? None of them are around to talk about playing tomorrow. Who is <laughs> this guy named Suker, who nobody knows about? Well, he's out there and still and, playing. And he didn't even know he was going to be playing in this tournament until uh, last week. And it's just one of the wild twists and turns that has happened in the last few years for this 32-year-old. Elia Polikoff, right? Out there on the course with him today. Is that yes, true? Yes, that is He's Elliot Polikoff. Elliot, tell us the story. Yeah, Joe and Aaron, this time last year, Zach couldn't play 18 holes, period, much less 18 holes on the PGA Tour. Knee and ankle damage put Zach on major medical leave for 13 months, and it was really only about two months ago that Zach started to feel confident again in his golf game. People think I'm crazy when I always talk about how nice he is, but he really is just one of a kind. He's a special guy. Zach might be special, but having the game you love be taken away from you for over a year, that's anything but. Kind of nice to be home with the family, but it was, um, I, I missed golf a lot. The first six months were pretty difficult. Uh, he got off to a kind of rough start, but he worked hard. He knew what he wanted, and um, we slowly, slowly got there. Zach. Now, Zach's back. Feels great. Um, it's really nice to have all the hard work pay off. And he's in uncharted territory, playing in the final weekend pairing of a PGA Tour event for the first time ever. I'm sure there'll be a lot more people out here than I'm used to, um, but it'll be nice. I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. And he won't be the only one. Seeing a, a, a friend that has gone through tough times to come back and to uh, have success again and uh, to, to see that it's so encouraging. Just rewarding just seeing him, you know, be successful, making birdies and just looking happy. Um, that's all a wife wants. Still obviously a lot of golf to be played, but as for what's on tap for Zach the rest of today, well, his brother's getting married in a couple of weeks, so he had to go get fitted for a tux, and then the plan was for him, his wife, and his two young daughters to get a little bit of pizza. It's hard not to root for this guy. Joe and Aaron, back to you.